Look, I had to stop and get lunch. My mechanic already started without me. Look at this guy. Look at, look at him. Look at, look at Ricky. He started without me. Huh? You started without me, Ricky. You're the man. Okay, I found out what was wrong with it. You found out what was wrong with it. That's yeah. what I like to hear. What was wrong with it? Here's the deal. Me and Ricky have spent hours now rebuilding carburetor. I have gone out of my way and bought used actual Honda Ruckus Japan made carburetors and she still refuses. We can get her running and she'll take throttle. She doesn't want to idle and we've replaced everything else at this point. So the only logical thing to do, Ricky, is what? Buy a new carb. We're going to buy a new carb. Even though I ordered one, we got a die that's going to give us a pretty good deal. We're going to head that way. We've got a long drive. So we're going to go pick this up and then we're going to come back and slap it in the scooter. And Ricky, everything has been replaced. It should run short of doing a valve job. Everything has been replaced. So we're doing this. What's up, guys? I'm at Streetside Scooter and what is this? Streetside Scooter and. Yeah, welcome to Streetside Scooters and Power Sports. This guy. Called him on the phone. He was super awesome, man. He had uh, the carburetor. We've actually had a really good discussion. So for those of you guys in the Tampa Bay area, actually, where's your card? I just want to show it to him, man. Right here. Thanks, Heck man. Yeah, dude. No Thanks problem, dude. Did you guys have a good look at that real sure fast? <laughs> Ricky. He wants to call everything junk, man. All right, so what's your name again? Joe. It's Freeside Scooters and Power Sports. Located Joe. at 556 Clearwater Largo Road North. We just recently moved to our new location by the beach. Fantastic. Anything we can do to help be in service. Dude, cheers. Thank so all you guys, guys scooter vlogging, watching all this craziness. Thanks for the shout out. Man. If you're in this Thank area, check him out. Awesome. All right, we're gonna get this cool. brand new Let's car and we're Audi. Okay, we replaced everything, even all the vacuum lines finally. Everything, Petcock fuel system, gas tank, gas, carburetor, everything's been replaced. So, finest final touches here, we're gonna go ahead and insert. <laughs> All right, you ready to give this a shot? Yep. So, it's going to take a minute to get some fuel in her. You holding the brake? Yep. Okay. You ready? Yep. Hmm. Go ahead. Hey, look at that. The idle's still set too high. We gotta back the idle down a little bit. Running on our own, man. There's the Phillips head. Oh, there you go. Lights are on. Running under our own power. Start it right up. That solved it, Ricky. We're gonna back the idle down a little bit, make a few adjustments. We only need to back it down enough that the CVT stops spinning. Hold on, hold on. Let it keep going. Hold on. That's it. She's good to go. Oh, well, yeah, she's good. Well, turn it down just a tad, man, just a hair. Right there. If it was on the ground, it wouldn't activate. No, we're gonna let her run for a minute, and then we'll slap the air box, put all the plastics back together, and this puppy's ready to ride. See, put a plate on it already. All right, so we've erected most of it. Now we just gotta kind of piece a little bit more of the back end to go here. We're almost done, and uh, we're, we just put the air box back on there. So now we're gonna adjust the idle if it needs it. Go ahead. So we'll crank it back up, power, hold the brake. Dude, idling like a champ, dude. Uh, you couldn't ask for a better startup, man. That's perfect. Perfect. Yeah, little blue LED lights. This whole thing needs a wash. It's actually really clean. I like the way this looks. It looks clean. It's running like an absolute top. We still, like I said, it's vibrating a little bit because we still got to put some of the plastics back together here. But yeah, we're good to go, man.
It's running like a top, Ricky. Thank you for working on this with me, bud. Oh. She's cruising pretty good. She's cruising pretty good. Oh, well, we didn't quite catch that light, did we? Didn't quite catch that light. Man, it feels good to be back on two wheels. You guys have no idea how good this feels. Two wheels is the best. It's the best. However, we need to figure out what's going on with my dash lights here, man. My dash lights are not working, unfortunately. All I have is these little light up things. So, need to take a look at the dash lights on this. See what's going on. I need to put a little more air in my tires. They still don't quite have enough air in them, unfortunately. I'm not quite sure why this guy's hitting his brake so hard. That's the difference. Get yourself a 150, then you can flow with traffic, man. If this was a little tiny scooter, man, I'd be screwed. I still got more throttle. She'll go. Like I said, if this was a little scooter, I'd be in a world of hurt. So tonight I'm going to take this home, we're going to grease the bearings and stuff, we're going to see how that works out and uh, clean it up tomorrow, get it nice and clean, get her nice and clean, I need to readjust my mirror, I can't see out of it at all, boy this thing's got some pep right out the hole, somebody adjusted something, let's see if I can see out of my mirrors here, there we go, somebody had these way outside of where I steer at, that's better. Sweet man, it feels, it feels really good to be back on two wheels. I still feel that there's some things that need to be hammered out here. I wonder if the, the horn work on this? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Look <laughs> at a cute little horn on this thing. That's hilarious. High beams, low beams. But they're really bright, but they don't seem to be centered very well. I guess we'll, we'll see, because I'm about to go down a dark road. We'll see what the difference is. It, it couldn't get any greener, people. I mean, that's, that's about as green as you're going to get here. Come on. What are we waiting for? Let's go, man. Come on. People drive. Yeah, I got to let out of the throttle or I'm going to run into Buddy. I got too much speed. That's hilarious. All right, I don't need to be trolling behind this guy that close. I'll give him some space. <laughs> we'll give him a little bit of space. I don't want to be dogging this guy. 
There we go. That should be good. That should be good. That should be enough space. That should be plenty of space. Alright, so this will give me a really good idea as to how much wind is coming into my helmet as well. So, give her some more juice here. Oh man, it's so nice having a 150. You can flow with traffic, have the power if you want to. There's 50 miles an hour right there, like it's nothing, man. I'm barely putting any effort into this and she's just going. I got tons of throttle to go. Yeah, buddy. What's up, car? I pull up on you. What's up, dude? Oh yeah, you didn't think it'd go this fast? Oh, it can. Scooter life. <laughs> Turn signal. Mamp, mamp, mamp. All right, well, so far we've almost made it all the way back to my house with no issues here. I'm gonna start slowing down into this turn gully and uh, letting cars do what they do. Well, you know what cars do. You know what cars do. So, yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, it's so much fun. Oh, turn signal's still on. It's so much fun being back on two wheels, man. Now that we got this thing working and it's working well, I'm, I'm a happy camper. What's up, dudes? Oh, throttle for days. Yeah, we got throttle for days. From, bum, bum. hey lady, must suck to walk. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be a complete turd. Oh, this thing launches great, man. It launches so well. I'm gonna go home and adjust the brakes a little bit. I'm gonna have a look at the front brakes now that I got it back to my house, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna go from there. We're gonna see what we're gonna see what we can do to knock out some of these other little short fallings that the scooter has. But right now, I mean, it's, it's rideable. It's rideable. I'm not saying it's 100% rideable. <laughs> it's like 75%. It's a 25% fraction more to go on this rideability thing. But uh, as of right now, I, th I think it's I think it's doing pretty good. It's not doing too shabby. Not doing too shabby. I got brakes. It's got a lot of pickup right out of the hole. So tires definitely need some air. We'll get to that in a minute here. buddy all right pulling into the home here man those headlights just look like they're way off they just don't look centered at all better they're just not very bright yeah that's what it is they're just not very bright unfortunately all right well it's got a weak state or two if I hit the gas you can see that it powers it up so the state or might be a little weak on this thing but I think for the most part that's running pretty good well guys, tomorrow we got some serious cleaning to do. It needs it needs some love and it'll give me a chance to look at the brakes tomorrow and everything else. So yeah, we got some serious cleaning to do. But it's running good. That's uh that's that's what we we're hoping for. So truck is gonna stay at Randy's tonight and uh I'm gonna sit out here for a while, clean this thing up, and uh figure out figure out if I can get the headlights a little brighter. They're not very good at night. <laughs> They need some love. Even though they're lighting up, they're not very bright at all. That's unfortunate. I may end up changing those bulbs out to something else. We'll see. But as of right now, I need to take a look at this front brake on this thing and uh, see if I can get that working properly. I need to adjust the rear brakes and uh, see if I can clean that exhaust pipe up a little bit to make it shiny again. And uh, overall, it just needs to be wiped down. It is so dirty. There's like dust everywhere. It's just like... It's gross, man. I could just clean it off with my finger and it would like, it'll look a thousand times better once it has a wash and looks better. So these mirrors are just as disgusting. They need to be like what everything needs. Everything needs to be washed. <laughs> and so, but it's running like a little, purring like a little kitten now that we got that uh, carburetor in there. So anyways, I'm calling it, man. Drone worship from somewhere in beautiful Tampa, Florida. Catch you guys on the flip. To the view. Go home, folks.